All right, so what we're going to work on today, so biggest thing I want to make sure we have kind of fresh on our heads is I want the wall to be a weapon, not a liability for us. In a cage, especially for your guys' first time with groundwork in a cage, you can get stuck here if you don't know what you're doing. So biggest thing I want us working on is when we're shrimping here, is when I get here, I have to, I can't get my neck stuck against the wall. So if I'm going to get here, I either need to be completely in, I need to be up against the wall, or I need to be completely turned away from it as soon as possible. I don't care which it is, whether it's, hey, I'm going to use the wall, boom, wall walk, and shimmy up, or turn. I'm going to work on you guys shimmying up first, because I'd rather us have that as a tool in the belt than that. So the biggest thing is, boom, I'm shrimping, I'm pushing, right, I'm doing all this stuff. Once I get here, I can use my elbows a little bit, but you don't want to post hands on them. Easy way to get your hands pulled out and stuck there. Once we're here... Plant your heels in. Don't press on the front of your feet. I want to press through my heels. All right? Almost like you're trying to stop sliding down a hill. That's kind of the thought process here is you're trying to get those heels in the mat and then stick your toes. All right? Boom. And I'm here. I'm rocking. Put your hands be on the head of the traps. I'm looking to have frames on the shoulders and head. So like if I'm here with you, boom, and I get here, right? I'm trying to get here. Obviously, I don't want to be pushing your hips, so it's not going to get me anywhere. But boom, I'm trying to get your head kind of framed away from me. I do have to pop up, it's great. But I'm looking to keep you framed away from me. Head, trap, shoulders, arms, hand fighting. Gotcha. Because the goal here is I want to use this as a tool to get up. So when I'm here, I don't want to rely on the hands. I can use them sparingly, but you don't want to rely on your hands. Then once you're here, same things we worked on Tuesday, fight your way off the wall. But the biggest thing I want you guys working on is just that basic coming up. Then we're going to work a kickoff once we get here. Okay. Questions on this? I guess the one thing I have is like, when, he, when he's pressuring against the wall, like what type of like, like what part of your back or anything like should be on the wall and what should be? I want my shoulder blades up. So like here up is what I'm trying to use against the wall. It's like when I'm here, I'm using that to hit that shit. I have the wings, obviously. So like, I'm using those wings to grind against that wall. Because what that allows you to do is, he's going to be grabbing your hips and grabbing your waist and trying to drag you out. So you're able to dig and grind. Hey, why don't we yell a little bit louder, guys? Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. So we're here, and I'm rotating back and forth here. Boom. But then, like, if when when you're up and he's pressing into you, oh. like, I'm using, I'm planting my hip against the wall to relieve some of that pressure because he's gonna be driving in, right? If I'm here, right, like he's got control of my hips. I'm trying to get my hips away from him, get a good base, and then start getting some away from him. Does that make sense? Yeah. So once getting up to your to your feet, you're using your upper back. Once you get here, it's hips and back against the wall to get yourself a base. Good. Yeah. One, two, three. Make it quick. Yeah, the nice part about it is, if you do it right, it's not effortless, right? Like nothing we do is gonna, ever going to be effortless. Right. But the benefits of doing it right is the fact that I exert. You know, we talk about it all the time the power bar while you're in a fight, right? Like I have this much energy every time I muscle it. You know, I lose so much. I gain a little bit back, but as you do that in a fight, right, it starts coming down and littler and littler recover. So that's why we have to be smart about when we, you know, there are going to be times you have to explore. And there are going to be times when you have to use strength and do all those things. But we want to minimize those times as much as possible. So that way when we do explode, we have the explosion we need. So I'm here with you on this one. Boom. So I'm here. Boom. I'm shrimping. And let's say I get here, but I'm not confident in my ability to come up the wall. Right? Like that sometimes is going to happen where you're just like, man, I just... He's got good pressure, he's got good everything, right? All we're gonna do, instead of walking our head to the wall, I'm gonna try to shift and get toward my hips towards the wall. Because what we're looking to do is get here, here. Because now the wall could be a weapon. 
So boom, instead of trying to come up this way, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my head to shrimp him towards the wall. Here, knee into head, here. Once we're here, all I'm gonna do, feet to hips, here. Because what that allows is it makes it a lot harder for him to counter wrestle with that wall in his way. Boom, I come up go, this way. He's gonna wanna circle this way to follow me and the wall stops him from being able to do that. So that's the reason we go to that wall. So I'm here. Boom, I'm working. I realize I don't wanna to go to the wall, but boom, I get here. I'm framing and pushing him towards that wall so I can do my technical stand up. But as he's coming up, that wall gives me an extra hand set, you know, set of feet, whatever you want to call it. It's an extra tool in my tool belt. He can't go this way. So anything he's going to try to do is going to be on this leg, which gives me better defensive. I'm ahead of you defensively at that point. Because once I get here, that's why I'm framing you this way and kicking off. Because now once I'm here, see how you're stuck? You run into yeah. the wall so quickly because now it's there. So all I want you to do, if you get to the wall and you're just not comfortable in coming up it, turn towards it and use it as, a, as another weapon. All right? One, two, three. 